Hey everybody, it's Reckless. So, as you guys know, update 2.0 has been released, and I'm actually going to go over a few things uh, that you actually see visually. Now, if you want the full entire 2.0 synopsis, I guess you could call it, I will put a link to that in the description below. But, let's just get this started. Now, as you can see, the Destiny Emblem itself has changed to uh, the Taken King. And we're just going to start off just with small things, and we're going to go from there. So, as you can see, real quick, when it came on Destiny, uh, the Taken King, that's kind of new how it comes on. Just waiting for this to load. Okay, so as you can see on your character uh, selection screen, it no longer shows your Grimoire card, but instead shows your light level. I've um, actually been playing a little bit, so yeah, I kind of cheated with this a little bit. But anyways, so I'm at light level 170 right now on my Warlock, and 152 on my Titan, and 149 on my Hunter. Now... It also shows you what version of the game you're playing at the bottom left. But let's go into my Warlock. So, Arms Day, new weapons have arrived. Uh, we will go check out Banshee later on, once we get there. So, we'll start with the character UI screen real quick. Now, as you can see, a couple things has changed. Your light level is depicted here. Your intellect, discipline, and strength show the tiers. Um, actually shows you the cooldowns of each. You have a new ghost. Uh, I actually had this ghost prior. And I actually bought this one from the speaker. And as you can tell, it changes the light level depending on your ghost. And the same concept for your class items. So real quick, we're going to go look. Is your level 34? Or at least I'm level 34. And your Grimoire score is underneath your level. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, mine shows a 3610. Now, the... Subclasses actually have new icons for obviously for the subclass. Just gonna let you look at that real quick. Perks and none of this has actually none of this has actually changed. And for the Sun Singer. So that is that part. Now as you can tell, the ghost did come onto the main character UI. It was previously on the second page um, on this side and the ships were over here, but they moved the emotes onto the second page and they moved the ships over. So this is one of the uh, new shaders. I'll get into that uh, a little bit later on. So that's the main character UI screen. Now we're going to go to the quest screen. Now you can hold up to 32 quests and I want to say six quests a page. Your bounties will be on this side. You can get 16 and it shows your reputation at the bottom. Now all these quests that I have right here, you actually get at a uh, terminal kiosk in the Hall of Guardians. Once we get there, I will uh, explain that bit. However, one thing I actually do want to uh, point out, and I will use a uh, good friend of mine, Game Hunter, as an example. As you can tell, he does have the Soros emblem and shader. Let's see if he actually has the shader on. Uh, 
And so he does have the the shader and emblem on. Um, the Searle shader is called Searle's Minimalist, and the shader is called Searle's Fire. You get these by pre-ordering um, Destiny the Taken King. However, if you have pre-ordered the digital version, you can get these two right now. If you purchased the physical edition of the Taken King, any of them, you will get those in a code when the Taken King is actually released. So I actually had a couple people clarify that for me on uh, Bungie.net in the forum. So thank you to all those who actually clarified that because I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was getting kind of salty. You know, I had purchased uh, the physical edition uh, the physical collector's edition and I still didn't have it so I didn't know how or why but anyways moving on from there um, as for your inventory you gain a uh, little bit more slots for the materials consumables and your missions as you can see it says dead orbit faction badge I, ha I have actually um, pledged my allegiance to dead orbits and I'll show you how to guys do go about doing that now, when you dismantle items now, you will now get armor materials and you will no longer get the class specific materials. But I will also get into that a little bit later on. As in this screen, the uh, setting screen, nothing has changed at all. Literally everything is the same still. So we shall move on to the map. Now, as you can see, the map has changed a lot. We will start with the Crucible. As for the game modes to play, we have Rift, Control, Clash, Skirmish, Salvage, and Rumble. I want to say that this one right here needs to be unlocked, and I want to say that's Zone Control, but I'm not entirely sure. Also, looking at this, you do not see the Trials of Osiris. So I'm not sure if that'll come out in its own emblem later on, but we will find out on Friday. Next is we have the Vanguard playlist. That's not the Vanguard playlist. Whoops. Sorry. Next we have the Vanguard playlist. You have three playlists. The first one we have is the Vanguard Legacy. I want to, again, just like the Crucible, I want to assume that once you play this, to a certain amount of extent the other ones will unlock but I will let you know once I actually do that if that is exactly how they work now as for the uh, maps little things have changed but the map itself of where everything is located remains the same I'm just gonna show you each map of each planet and moon real quick and also the reef so that was earth this is the moon. You may want be wondering what is this uh, wonderful triangle and all that wonderful stuff glowing. I, there are actually missions that I have accepted and are in my quests and those are where I have to go. So I'm going to show you Venus real quick. And also the reef. Now, one last thing before we actually go to the tower is the uh, the weeklies are at the very bottom now, and they're not on the left-hand side like they used to be. So they're at the bottom left. You have your weekly Nightfall Strike, which is a level 32, and that is actually very hard. Let's see how far it goes. It only goes up to 32. Then we have the weekly Heroic Strike, it starts at 26. You only get three strange coins. So up until the Taken King is released, you, we will still be able to get nine strange coins. But after the Taken King is released, we will not be able to get nine strange coins anymore from the weekly heroic strike. And then we have the daily and the crucible. 
And I'm not sure which one this is. So this is actually pretty interesting. So I guess we'll find out what that is when it gets unlocked. Real quick, right here we have the Taken King uh, Prelude Cinematic. And they actually removed the Expansion 1 and Expansion 2 cinematics. So we're going to head to the tower and go from there. So we just arrived at the tower and the first thing we're actually going to go to is the vault. That way you can see everything from there. Now we have 72 slots in the weapons, armor, but only 32 in the general section. I'm sorry, 36 in the general section. You won't be able to go to other pages until you actually fill up the current page you have. So we're going to take a look at this real quick once more. And I will be going over the shaders and emblems um, a little bit later on. Apparently we have something here with the postmaster. Underway. Oh, focus light. Received. Oh, Whenever you need me again. So, real quick, we're going to go head over to the Crypt Dark. Over there. He has nothing another. for us. He's not selling anything right now. Things will change um, in five days, which is probably when the Taken King is released. Come back before I get bored. Next, we have the what goes through there? Gunsmith. New day, new gun. Now, he does have field test weapons today, but he did not have them yesterday. So when you field test these weapons, you can actually get reputation with the gunsmith. So that's pretty cool. Miscellaneous is still the same, and Reforge is also still the same. You take care of that now, gun, Guardian. As you can see by looking over this Location. way, Eris is no longer in her Take little area. She's actually down here. And if you continue going and not this turning around, you will totally miss her. The so Eris Morn is right reach. here. She still the sells the Crota Vein rank 2 and 4 items, but she no longer has missions. The Hive tremble with deep. As for Lord Shax, Let's get started. He also does not have anything besides the Dark Below's uh, armor. And the same thing okay. goes for the Crucible Quartermaster. None of their yes. inventory will actually change until after the Taken King is released. Keep it up, Guardian. Now, coming into the Hall of Guardians, we have three collection terminals. We have the exotic armor the exotic weapons and the abandoned missions terminal over there we will go to the exotic armor blueprints first now real quick these are all your year one exotics um, as you can tell I am on my warlock so if there is a year two exotic that is a year one it will be posted here um, as a year two Perks and stuff do change. So that's definitely an interesting uh, thing. They also not only change, but they also add perks um, to the exotics also. Gonna just go over a couple real quick. Now also, exotics now start matching with the shaders you actually wear. my heart of practice fire and I do apologize if I'm going over these a little too fast I just want to get everything out as soon as possible for you guys now what I don't understand is why Bungie did not allow the nothing manacles to come into year two because I have not used the clouds of Ahamkara ever um, just because of it, ha it has uh, discipline and strength. I'm not a discipline strength person. I am an intellect discipline. Um, but like I did say um, earlier, um, your exotics will now match the color of your shader. So that is actually pretty cool. As you can do see, as you can see, I'm sorry, there are still several 
exotics that have not been unlocked. Now let's go to the exotic weapons since we're right here. Now these are all your exotic uh, weapon blueprints. If you found an exotic, it will be here. I am actually missing just one, which is a necrochasm. To this day, I still have not got a crux. I have the wonderful weapon before the crux, uh, before the necrochasm, waiting for that crux, and that's it. But anyways, moving on. Um, so if there is a, a year two version, it will be here. We do have the Thunderlord, the Truth, Fourth Horseman, Invective, Bad Juju, Red Death, Hawkmoon, Last Word, the New Soros Regime, and the Monte Carlo, which all have year two uh, blueprints. So, once you get Legendary Marks, you can purchase these. I want to say they're all 150 Legendary Marks. My first ones are probably going to be spent on the uh, Hawkmoon or Soros. Actually, I don't know what it's going to be spent on. I'm going to spend it on something. But when I get the Legendary Marks, I'll spend it. So, let's move on to the Abandoned Quest Terminal. As you can see, I don't have any here because I've already picked them up. But, if you do start this update for the very first time you will have abandoned quests here you did not abandon them everybody gets the very same quests actually we'll abandon one now that way you can see how this actually works so a stranger's call i abandon it i haven't done it yet i come to the abandoned quest and there it is a stranger's call the very same one that I abandoned. Prepare to feed. Cosmo. So, with that, we are going to move to the other sides of the tower. Heading to the tower north first. So, over here. As soon as we come down here to take that first right, we have two uh, collections. The first one is the emblems. Now, these are all the emblems in the Taken King, and it will tell you exactly how to get them. These are all the House of Wolves, these are all the Factions, these are all the Dark Belows. These collections actually have four different pages, and that's actually a lot. And these are all ones that pretty much you buy at the vendor. Whenever they have them, you can purchase them. And these next ones are all promotional. Now what I actually plan to do is deleting all of mine. Because all my promotionals will be here. Alright, so the next thing we're actually going to do is go to the shaders now these are all the shaders in the Taken King I actually like this one. This one looks pretty badass.
And these ones are all the ones from the House of Wolves. These are the shaders from the dark below. And these are your faction shaders. Going back to the activities, these are the two, uh, these are several from the dark below. I'm sorry, from uh, the Taken King. And then we have the vendor one. This is the one I'm currently wearing. It's like a uh, extremely dark blue, like a navy blue. And these are all promotional. So next, let's head to Executor Hideo, real quick. All for a good now, since I already guardian. have a faction that I pledge my allegiance to, you will not be able to do it in the same week. You can only change your pledge once a week. However, the weapons still here, just like any other weapons in the other vendors, are still from the Dark Below. But you can do the material exchange, guardian. at least, which is you know also a good thing. We're here if you need us, Guardian. Next, we're actually going to go to the speaker. Because you can actually purchase new ghosts from You've the speaker. Like the one I currently the darkness have Darkness will not cease on its own. Now, we're only able to purchase six ones right now. The more defense on it, the stronger you are. I actually have this winter sky shell on right now. And you can also purchase other ones that you can't currently wear just yet, but once uh, the Taken King comes out and you reach that level, you'll be able to wear that. Until we meet again. So, we are actually going to be on our way to the Tower Hangar. So we're going to be entering the Tower Hangar now. And first, we're going to go to the At your left, service. to the Quartermaster, the Vanguard has and a many as you can see, you'll see, nothing has changed in the Quartermaster. Return whenever you'd like, Guardian. You're going to jump down here real quick Would you like to hear Dead Orbit. We need your support. Now, once you actually pledge your allegiance to a faction, you will actually gain a faction quest and this is the dead orbit faction quest that you will actually be able to get I'm not sure if this quest actually has several parts to it but this is the actual first part of the faction quest if it does have several parts then I'm gonna complete all parts and then go from there but as I said before, all armor and weapons still are the Dark Below weapons and armor. But the material exchange you can do. And if I'm correct, one donation gives you 50 um, reputation points. Good choice. Or 25. We know it will help us yeah, all. It just gives you 25. I hope it helps. Time is running out, Guardian. So we are actually going to come up here. And as you can see, we have two more terminals. 
Well, two more collections. So we are going to go to this one. If this it wants to turn on. For personal image cards for this is your vehicles. It shows you everything you got from Crucible, the raids, base set upgraded, Vanguard, upgraded and promotional. Unfortunately, there are no raid. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, there's no raid speeders for the Taken King. So we're going to come over here to the ships. Now, there are obviously several ships in here. Uh, we actually will go over the new ships for the Taken King. So we got the Fatal Vision. We have this thing I can't even say. This is for the Dead Orbit. The Road Unraveled is the new Future War Cult ship. And this is the new uh, New Monarchy ship. Now, these ones you can actually earn in the Crucible. It really looks like a lot of these ships are just the same ship, new paint job. And I, I still don't like that about Bungie. You know, I really don't like the fact that they take a ship, move a couple of parts, or take a couple of parts off, and just, here, slap, new paint job. Yeah, it's, it's kind of redundant. You know, there's other stuff that they could do. You know, they have the people out there to do it. Um, but for some reason, they don't. I don't know. So those are all the ships. And the shipwright lady Fix you up with has the very same guardian? things. So long, things guardian. for her will change or not. I'm not too sure. So we're going to go upstairs to the future war cult lady person. I have the highest respect thingy. for the warlocks. And just like everyone else, still has the Dark Below uh, weapons and armor. Material exchange, just like the other ones that you can Back use. To the war. There's really nothing else in this future war coat that we need. But we are not done. We still have one last stop. So as you make your way down here to the lounge, we actually have the last um, collections, which is the emotes. Now, we only have one emote, and that's the point one. But with the Taken King, we'll be actually, we will we'll be actually getting more. And the little jukebox thing actually changes. Play the same song or a different one. Different one. Yeah. So that is everything for the update that's visual for 2.0 update. But like I said before, if you want to read the entire patch notes. For the 2.0 update, I will put a link to that in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about the video in the comments below. This is Reckless, and I will see you guys later.